Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be graving Yeti tumblers and they are the Rambler 20 ounces. So this is what they look like. I'm doing this for a customer of mine. So I won't be able to show you all the images on it, um, but there is one part that I can show you the engraving after. So first step, I always tape, take the lid off first. I tape the, the rim. So when I hook it up to my rotary, I don't want to scratch it. And I do this on all my cups that I engrave on the rotary. All right, so that part's done. Okay, so now that we've taped it, we need to measure the diameter to make sure we get the proper circumference because we need to make sure that our images are centered on here. And my customers asked for double-sided. So in order to do that, I have this little tool, pretty handy. Press on. Okay. Diameter is 3.467. Command Shift R to open up the rotary window. All right, so 3.467. So my circumference is 10.8919. So I've already done this part. So I'll show you. So the width is 10.8919. So what I do is take that number and divide by two, which will give me 5.4460. And then I add little squares at the end. And then my images, I have to center them on the square. Like this one. All right, so that's all good. So now, because we're using a rotary, we have to arrange, rotate 90 degrees, and we also have to flip it. So the wording is mirrored. I have gone ahead and set up my settings. So speed is 175. My power and min is at 25 each. And I used to have problems with my interval, so I actually changed it from one now to 0 0.05 and one pass count. This way, when you engrave, you don't get these lines all through your, your wording and your pitches, pictures. All right, so now that's all set up. I'm gonna turn this on. So open it. I gotta move the laser bed down so I can put my rotary in. All right, so I put it all the way down to the bottom because I already know that the Yeti tumblers need to be at that height. So I line the rotary up with this to the edge. Screw it in on the side here. Tuck away my cord. Now I will put the cup in. All right, so that looks pretty centered. It won't come off. I hold this up. Tap this. All right. So now it doesn't move. You also see 
the focal length. Usually with cups, you kind of want underneath, but unfortunately with this mug, it's a little too, too big. So this is as far as I can go anyways. So. So I have clicked enable rotary. There's my diameter, my circumference, and I will press OK. Perfect. Now I will press the rotary on here. Rotary is on. All right, so now that the laser is on, I want to make sure we start from absolute cords. Now I want to make sure that this is centered properly. So let's go to the laser and I'm going to press frame. So it looks pretty even. So let's do the other one, the other side. All right, so now we have our settings, as I mentioned before, 175 for speed, 25 uh, for both max and min. And now let's turn on everything else. The air, chillers on, exhaust is on. And here goes nothing. is done so I'm gonna shut everything off not the machine just this because I have five more cups to do So here's the cup. All right, so I want to uh, show you one more tip actually. So what you could do is to speed up the time engraving is each sentence or each image or whatever you want to call it, just change it to a different color, have each setting the same and put it in whatever order you want. That way it's not going from top to bottom for the entire time, which where I did, it slowed it down a lot. But that's just one good tip. Now, we will go clean this. Now, I have used Magic Eraser on these before, so I know they work. But sometimes, if you use them on certain products, it will have a little scuff mark or take away the paint. All right, so here is what it looks like. It's nice and shiny. Now I'll just dry the cup. Another tip you could use on certain products is using Windex. That will also take off this, the soot from the engraving. All right, and here's the final product.